Veliki pozdrav i dobrodošli u novi znanje emisije Oni vole Srbiju. Kao što znate, Litvanija je zemlja koja može da se pohvali veliki broj košarkaških asova, a mi ćemo danas imati prilike da ugostimo jednog od njih. Njegov otac važi za legendu litvanske košarke i nije ni čudo zašto je ovaj igrač krenuo njegovim stopama. Sa nama danas Rokas Gidraitis. Je li on igra u Frankfurtu? Ne, on igra u Juventusu. Igramo u sokeru. Sokerbet. Pravi igrači na pravom mestu. Kurkuma Cream Hot Kremu koristim kod osoba koje imaju hronične tegobe, koji ih godinama muče. Vole ih leđa, vrat, zglobovi, na rukama i na nogama. Posebno ujutru osjećaju bol i ukočenost. Preporučujem i svima. Gde je reuma, tu je i krema kurkuma. Rokas, Labas Ritas. Labas Ritas. Can I hear some Lithuanian, please? Can you? Can we have a crash course of Lithuanian right now? Yeah, I can teach you a couple things. Okay, like, tell uh, me something. Good morning. How are you? You know. Okay. Like say, Labas Ritas, kripto sakasi. Labas Ritas, kripto sakasi. Not pretty good. Not okay. Good. And you can say gere. Gere. Or labai gere. Very good or good. You know. Depends. And I said uh, good morning. How are you? Yeah. Good morning. Okay. How are you? And then you said good. And after it's a very okay. good so yeah. Great. Kako si roka se da li si dobro? Dobre. Dobre? Dobre. You're better. You're better than me in this. Actually, you're, you're pretty good. Good job, man. Give me five. Very good. Very good. Let's talk about basketball. Uh, you were born in Lithuania. Yeah. A country with a big basketball culture when basketball is a phenomenon. So how was growing up in this atmosphere, in this country that loves so much the b-ball? My dad was player, professional basketball player. So for me from the first day when I when I when I saw the ball, so I was I would say playing basketball all the time on the court around me every time it was only basketball. So uh, yeah, yeah. Lithuania is like this, uh, more or less. And uh, I think it's good. It's good that it's super popular sport in Lithuania. Of course, now we we surviving. How to say? Not the best moments of our basketball thing, uh, like all the basketball, because we didn't win anything. I don't know, like ten years, no, eight years. The last medal was so. But uh, but 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 still, people people how to say love love basketball and. Uh, that's how it is yeah. <laughs> in Lithuania. Yeah, this sport will never die because there's a big tradition. <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah, you said that it's always been basketball in your life. Yeah. And I remember an, inter an interview when you said I could barely walk, but I was holding a uh, ball because of your dad. Yeah. So like, if I ask you, can you remember your first contact with basketball? You cannot remember, of course, because no, 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 it no, was no. always. No, no, only from, from the pictures, you know. Mm -hmm. But not no no no. Okay. The first okay. moment, yeah. Yeah, you have this uh, important person in your family. Your dad was a very important, a legendary Lithuanian player. Even if you guys, you're completely different because he was more uh, He's point guard. Yeah, the he'll, he'll, defensive he'll, yeah. player. You're more an offensive. He used to give you advice. He used to talk to bring you to the a practice. Lot. Yeah. A lot. I remember we were practicing. Before the school, like mm -hmm. seven in the morning, I know I need to be in the school eight. So uh, we going, we went to the gym like seven in the morning practice. Mm -hmm. Then school. Then after the game, if something happens, we watch the game together. He gave me advice how to play, mm -hmm. what how to do here, how to do that. Yeah. So he is he is big how to impact in all my yeah. basketball career. So yeah. And sometimes people used to compare you guys, compare you with your father. Some of the things, maybe yes, okay. but but you know when he he was playing guard, so he is okay. like I would say different position players. But uh, some of the things, yes, and we talk sometimes like mm -hmm. that I can see 
when I'm watching how how he was playing, and now he can, and he see me in my game. So okay, yeah. but I personally think that basketball changed a lot in the past years. So you can even compare because it's two different styles, yes, right? Yes, 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 right. It's total difference. Okay, he had a very big influence on you, but once you said, I don't know if my source is correct, so I will mm -hmm. ask you that the Mindogas Jukaskas yeah. had a big impact your career yes, would you like so to share this with us because, you know my parents uh, with him with his family they are the best friends you know from 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 I don't know they play together in in Shulei uh -huh. with Zhukauska. so from that moment they were good friends I remember we went uh, to see Ana Montepaschi when uh -huh. when Zhukauska was playing there we went there for 10 days to see how it is everything but I was six seven years old maybe mm -hmm. so i still remember everything and uh yeah i would say i was following him every time he gave me advices too sometimes when mm -hmm. when i needed so i think my dad and him they are my the, the biggest yeah supporter yeah, right supporter. so very you started you started in the lithuanian second league right you were 18 in, third, in third league in third, I, in third yeah, league yeah, was in third that? league uh, then was second league and okay. i was step by step growing you know uh, as can a player. you remember this first professional experience i remember yeah of course i remember every year but uh, it wasn't something different, you know, okay. like, of course, you're playing against uh, men, not against kids again. Yeah. So only this thing I remember because it's more contact, more, more uh, mm -hmm. physicality. So only that thing. And I was skinny, remember, 70 kilogram guy okay. <laughs> shooting only three point shots from from the corner. So, yeah, you were skinnier compared to the other guys in that period. Oh, yes. OK, I'm how to say. I grow later, so I was 170 okay. until 17 years old, maybe. Really? And then two summers I grow up, I don't know, like 30 centimeters. Wow, wow. <laughs> so I was like stick man. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, but very quickly in that moment, they saw your quality, your talent, and you signed with Ritas. Is that it? Yeah, but. And you started uh, yeah. to play your equip? And then, yeah, uh, I signed with Ritas and with playing Euro Cup, yeah. I mean, it was a big step forward in that moment of your life and your career so how do you recall that period of your life first year was difficult i mm -hmm. remember i was struggling in euro cup a lot okay <laughs> i was missing shots misses like it's it's how to it's harder to play there like okay. it's it's something different you know and uh, yeah i was struggling but then year by year you get more experience it yeah. became easier mm -hmm. yeah. Your first experience abroad was at 26 years mm -hmm. old, if I am correct, okay. when you signed with Alba, finding a replacement mm -hmm. for Grigonis, right? Yeah. A Lithuanian, <laughs> your friend yeah. Grigonis, yeah. and they called you, was your yeah. first experience. So how was, first of all, going for the first time abroad, out of your country? I'm not that guy who is like uh, thinking a lot how it's going to be. Okay. I'm just going and I know the basketball everywhere is the same, so mm -hmm. only the culture, you know, the, the language, the all, all only how to, these things that I'm gonna miss my family, my friends, and that's it. But on on the court when I need to play, I forgetting everything and I just yeah. thinking about the ball, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 got it, got it. But you know why did I ask you this? Because you were born in Lithuania. Yeah. You used to play in Lithuania, a country that really breathes. I like to use this word, breathe basketball. Mm -hmm. And you started to play in Germany. A country that is not that soccer, football. in That's love football country. with basketball. Yeah. So it was different to get used even to the atmosphere, to get used to the style of playing. Uh, one thing that when you walk in in the, in the city, nobody uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. recognizes me. So, <laughs> but I, I like how to say this kind of that people knows me, recognize mm -hmm. me because it's not gonna be all my life, you know. Yeah. And. It's gonna be like how much, three, four more years, and then I'm gonna finish career, and nobody gonna remember this things, you know. And uh, I like like that more. Okay, <laughs> okay. But uh, after Germany, after Berlin, yeah. you signed to Lithuania. I think Spain is a little bit different. People sure. likes a lot, likes a lot basketball. You were even the captain of Basconia. Can we say that maybe this experience with Basconia was a step forward? 
your career personally and yes. professionally? Yes, 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 100%. Basconi is a big team, they play so many final fours. Mm -hmm. And I was a captain one year, that was something, something how say, different in special? my career and special too, yes, of course. I like it, of course, the year, all three years we didn't win anything, we didn't win any title or something, so. Mm -hmm. And of course, Vitoria is a city, you know, it's a small city, people living, uh, like, everybody knows basketball, uh, all the players, people talking around the city, so yeah. They are, I would say, basketball, basketball city. Basketball yeah. city. Even for you guys, means a lot because when you are playing in front of a lot of people, mm -hmm. a thousand of yeah. people, you have like uh, a motivation, right? And this kind of motivation you have here in Zvezda. Ah, of course, yes, <laughs> Zvezda. of course. We should go to another location and talk more about okay. this experience, okay. Zvezda, and how do you feel here in Belgrade? Okay. Let's grab some food. Filip Kostić. Je li on igra u Frankfurtu? Ne, on igra u Juventusu. Igramo u sokeru. Sokerbet. Pravi igrači na pravom mestu. Kurkuma Cream Hot Kremu koristim kod osoba koje imaju hronične tegobe, koji godinama muče. Vole ih leđa, vrat, zglobovi, na rukama i na nogama. Posebno ujutru osjećaju bol i ukočenost. Preporučujem je svima. Gde je reuma, tu je i krema kurkuma. We came to Ristorante de Pipo here in Belgrade Waterfront to continue the conversation and we finished talking about Zvezda. Mm -hmm. But before I start to talk about Zvezda, I would like to touch another topic because we were talking before, you told me, we were talking how difficult it is to make a career because you need to overcome a lot of issues, a lot of difficult moments. And you had this little crisis when you have had the 16. 17 years old, yeah. right? Would you like to share? How did you overcome this hard period? I think every person got, how to say, have bad moments, uh, especially, how to say, professional players or like when they want to be professional. So yeah, uh, I was small, you know, everybody, uh, how to say, other players was bigger than me. I grow later. And then, then, then the, they were better than me, and I was thinking to quit basketball. Uh, I was thinking that's enough for me. But uh, my dad every time pushed me, like, mm -hmm. don't be stupid. You need to play. You need to try. You need to believe because we work hard every day. And uh, and 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 I believe in the process every every day. He how to say? He talked to me. He tell me every, every time that hard work be talents and uh, there's gonna come your day gonna come one day and uh, you need to you just you need to trust the process and uh, that's it you know and then of course s second thing is the luck because after school when you need to uh, find the team where to play third league or second league it's hard to do this uh, but I I had luck in that moment that uh, one coach called me and uh, he said we want to come to play for our team and and that's how it starts yeah. and the bottom line like hard work will will always pay back right if you're working so hard yes I agree with this at least how my parents uh, teach me Mm -hmm. Not even in basketball, in the school, same in the in the university. That mm -hmm. don't quit. You need to finish everything. You need to you, you need to be a good how to say, a good person. You know. So. 
and that mm -hmm. happened when you were 17 years old you were literally mm -hmm. were just starting mm -hmm. to make a career but I think personally that it's never over over it's always a fight you need to fight for your spot you need to show mm -hmm. that you're always on the top right mm -hmm. even when it comes to national team even when it comes to your team you're playing yes it never stops until you finish your career you know every day you need to fight not how to say for for your spot under the sun you know yeah <laughs> but yes it right. never stops it never stops until you're gonna say i'm done with the basketball so <laughs> never stops and i think it's even a little bit it, you have uh, more motivation you're more motivated yes. when you come when you're playing in front of a lot of people when you're yeah. playing in front of the crowd like Zvezda crowd so how does it feel to step into an arena and play in front of a lot of thousands of people screaming your name, motivating you? I'm not gonna lie, the first moment when we play against Asheville, uh, and I, I remember uh, before the game when, 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 when they start and I heard fans like singing and uh, my body was shaking really until the first moment when the ball when the when the referee threw the ball up, my body was shaking, mm -hmm. and I was a little bit stressful. Uh, I was playing against Zvezda, but not for Zvezda. Mm -hmm. So it's better to play for Zvezda. For Zvezda. For Zvezda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's more fun. And uh, yeah, fans, fans, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, unbelievable. It it makes you it. How to say, uh, pump your body mm -hmm. like they give you much more energy. A it's easier player. to play. Yeah, so well, six player. Sure. I would like to say six, yeah, six player. player, but it motivates you yeah. to win every game. You know, like right. to leave yourself at least on the court 100 percent. Okay, it might be a little bit a difficult question, but if you need to use a word, only a word to describe Zvezda fans, you can think about that. I would say energy, I don't know, energy. Like, yeah. like energy uh, and could be crazy or uh -huh. something like this, but from the good side, you know, like um, unbelievable. I, I <laughs> think unbelievable. that, yeah, 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 to, um, desc yeah, to describe fans uh, on this area, it's not enough just one word. Yes, it's, yes, uh, it's, very, it's very hard, it's very hard, yes. Is it different from Lithuanian? Yes. The atmosphere? It's, here is more hot. Okay. Um, because 40 minutes people standing, singing. In Lithuania it's not like that. We are, we are more calm. We are, I would say the people, the players pump it up. Mm -hmm. The fans sometimes, not the fans pump it, the players. Well, after a good moment, Lithuania fans like start screaming, like uh, shouting more, you know. But if something bad, they are a little bit more quiet. Okay. And here is, for the minute, same. Nothing changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it's the same. They're showing they're there. They're there for you. Yeah. They're there to help you. Do you have maybe an interesting situations with the with the fans that we would like to share with us? I can say that people following basketball okay. <laughs> here. They <laughs> want to sure. take pictures uh, sure. every time. Uh, I was surprised that in Lithuania it's not like that. People, Lithuania. people, they asking pictures, but not like here. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going somewhere, they asking you take picture. That's that's nice, really. After the game, when I'm coming back home, my head is like I'm feeling some sounds every time. You know, from this loud loudness every time. Like you're feeling the voice. The just, something like that, you know, like I cannot go <laughs> sleep until three, four <laughs> after home games. Yeah, so. That's nice. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your life here in Belgrade because you're here with your family, your mm -hmm. wife and your two kids. Tell me, please. And dog. And dog. <laughs> and dog. And dog. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the dog. Forgive me. You have a daughter and a son. Liepa uh, is your yes. uh, is your uh, daughter, and your son has a very difficult name. Ajolas. Ajolas. So how is living the Gudraitis family here in Belgrade? We feel comfortable here, really. My family happy here. That's a lot of things to do here. Playgrounds for the kids everywhere. Good food, you know. So we enjoying every moment here until mm. now. Perfect. Our uh, filming is going to end, so I would like to focus okay. on uh, Zvezda and on EuroLeague and mm -hmm. our league of the competition. Maybe, especially in EuroLeague, the mm -hmm. season didn't start as you wished, but there's time, your new team, you need to get to know each other, you need a little bit of time. So, how do you see the, the next 
period? Yeah, new team, especially coaches changes, so it's nothing easy, you know, and of course we need a couple wins to believe and it's gonna be everything good, I think, and then we need to put that one step, you know, and then it's gonna be good. But uh, yeah, we need to trust the process, I think, have confidence. Mm -hmm. Because the confidence in this level is the most important thing. Right. The most important thing, confidence. Mm -hmm. If you don't have confidence, somebody gonna step over you and take your spot, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how it is in basketball. You need to have confidence. No confidence. Okay. You need to believe in yourself. Of yeah. course. That's you need to be when you go on the court you need to think that you're the best on the court. At least that's how I am thinking. You had the chance to play twice the derby. Your league and our league. Mm -hmm. You remember the atmosphere was crazy. I mean, you yeah. partisan was the host, so you mm -hmm. didn't have the support of your fans. But it was a very, very interesting atmosphere, and you saw how important is here the derby. Yeah, now I can understand these things because to feel this derby only, you know, off the court, how you watch on TV or something, it's totally different when you were as a fan or inside or you on the court. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're waiting for Partizan at home, right? When you will have your fans. So uh, of course, I'm, uh, yes, this is one of the, of course, I'm waiting for this, that we're gonna be host, so yes, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> and here is super hot, like, uh -huh. you, need to, you need to have confidence to play here and yes. Man, thank you so much thank for you. this interview, <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank to you so much. talk with you. Uh, we wrap up this program in a different way, so I'm not wrapping up. Mm -hmm. You have the camera behind me, and if you want to send a message to the fans, to the audience, you can do it. Thank you, audience. Uh, thank you, fans. Uh, see you in Arena. Uh, let's make this step forward as a team, everybody, and uh, let's try to win games. I sure. <laughs>